Don't run from Revit just because of lacking uh, 3D objects or other kind of diversity in your object. Stay here for about 10 minutes and then you will, your workflow will get much smoother at the end. Let's go. Maybe you have worked in many projects and sometimes you are looking for some specific objects or some specific product that you are going to use them in your project and then show it to your clients uh, and furnishing your uh, plans or your 3D, uh, 3D views or other kind of beam purposes yet that you need some high detail and uh, rich uh, information models or families in your Revit project. In this, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to introduce, uh, introduce most known uh, websites for downloading Revit objects. First, I'm going to categorize them uh, it is a personal preference. We can categorize our uh, our websites for downloading Revit objects to three cat uh, to do to three categories. The first one is the uh, some kind of, for example, beam object which you can download the product that is uh, converted to beam models too. For example, you can see a, a product in uh, some. Uh, stores and then you can download it from beam object 2 so it is the exactly uh, digital model of exact uh, product that is exists in the market and you can buy them too the second category is user created object that it can be a conceptual modeling or uh, modeling uh, according to a reference but you can rely on the exact and reliability on exact information as products and the third one is some website that will allow you to upload some models and they also have the both category in them. They also have beam objects that are, uh, that are modeled uh, that have modeled according to the exact products and also they have user manual, uh, user created families in their websites. First one is beam object, the biggest source of uh, Revit families and beam families. Uh, the objects and families that are exist in the beam uh, object.com are uh, beam uh, digital a digital beam model of exact products in the market. So you can rely on the uh, information about the existence of them in the market for uh, construction process or for maintenance process. And it is a good website with a really user-friendly uh, website. And after that, it is uh, mainly used for Revit, but also you can find many objects for ARCHICAD, Vectorworks, and other kind of Beam softwares. The second uh, website that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to introduce you, is Revit City. I call it Black Market of Revit Family because you can find any kind of model there but you can rely on them as a beam digital asset because many of the objects there and families that are exist there have uploaded with users and you don't you can't rely on the beam information but it can be great for visualization and furnishing your plans in the earlier stage of your works but personally i don't like the user interface of this website but we can acknowledge the diversity of objects in these websites. The third website is CAD from website that is a combine of beam, ob uh, beam objects like Revit objects or Revit family and CAD blocks. You can find many and uh, many objects and families there and there is uh, lots of uh, CAD blocks that you can uh, use them in your AutoCAD software too but Beside of them, you can find many other Revit families. If you didn't find some families on the first and the second uh, website, you can search here too. The fourth website, which is my, one of the, my favorite website, is Modlar, which is great for interior design and interior objects. And you can uh, find many high detail interior objects there. And it is a very user friendly. Uh, user-friendly website that you can filter uh, according to many parameters and you can find the exact model 
in family you are looking for. Don't, check, don't miss this website and check it and you can find many useful objects and families there. The fifth source is Arca, which is another uh, website like others for uh, downloading BIM object that is according to exact product. But the favorite feature that we, this website has it also we, uh, in some object, it also has some specification and details for construction a link to families too that you can, it will uh, reach your it will make richer your uh, beam uh, model for information but the uh, disadvantage here is that this website doesn't have uh, lots of families and not very diverse in numbers of and categories of objects the sixth website that I'm going to introduce you is NBS National Beam Library, which is my one of my favorite website. The first feature is that the objects are beam uh, based and they are very reliable, and they, uh, the most of them are exactly uh, have model exactly according to the English and United Kingdom standard. But you can find other uh, standards there too. And other uh, favorite part of this website that I like them, it's kind of Pinterest or uh, Instagram feature we uh, called our uh, saved uh, saved post. In uh, this website, you can have a bundle part that you can uh, like the objects that you are going to download them later, and you can bundle them. For example, you can create a bundle for your residential design you can create a bundle for your uh, sport uh, sport projects and it is really a um, great feature that will can that will help you to optimize your objects downloads and downloading of your families the seventh option is a little bit different with others the first one the first difference is that you can find ready scenes of Revit, ready file of Revit, a whole project in there, but you should pay for them, but it can help you to practice with them and uh, help and uh, watching, uh, seeing the workflow that they have modeled and you can use it for your projects too. If you want some practice files for your Revit uh, training, you can find some ready scenes there. And also the, another uh, great difference here uh, they have some uh, premium objects, but they are many. Uh, they are uh, objects with high quality details, so you can find many high detail objects there too. And other difference is you can sell your Revit objects there and earn some money. So if you want to earn money from uh, creating a beam object, you can check this uh, website for this pro uh, purpose. The eighth website is Polantis, which I call, which I call that uh, the uh, son of Beam Object because it's one of the sub brand of BeamObject.com. But the difference here that this website is ex uh, is specifically for converted objects of Revit. For example, there are some uh, high detail objects that have been converted from 3ds Max, SketchUp, and other kind of surface. So if you want some more uh, uh, more objects with high detail uh, look you can uh, search there and you can find some high quality objects there and also uh, the great feature that i like about this web this website is uh, my favorite format you can assign your favorite formats in your uh, preference setting in this website that will prevent from downloading other software's object that will uh, that is commonly happen in other websites like beam object or cat for the ninth website is a heaven for you for objects if you are interior designer or if you want to visual visualize your interior parts of beam model it's called beam box a great uh, website for interior objects like furniture, sofa, and it can uh, it can save your time and your job maybe in some time, and will uh, provide you with a lot of 
uh, with lots of uh, objects for interior part of your design. So if you are if you are going to uh, furnishing your uh, interior parts, don't forget to check the Beambox website too. The tennis option here, which I call it family, or uh, I call it for my personal uh, word choices, I, I call it uh, little brother of Revit City because it's exactly like Revit City, but so, just with some differences that, it, that you can find some specific, very specific objects there that you can't find find it on other websites so if you can if you didn't find any of the objects that you're looking for uh, in the previous websites you can check it too but i don't like the user uh, user interface of this website exactly like revit city hmm. but i don't like it the elements option here is map content website which is great for you and a heaven for you if you are a map engineer because it's a, a specific website for map content of uh, your Revit project. So if you are a map engineer, uh, make sure to check it and it can save your time and your money in your project.